Mount Rushmore is arguably one of the most nationalistic creations our country has seen, but how long will this piece of art remain? How long will Mount Rushmore be here? To tackle this question, we first need to answer another question. Is Mount Rushmore getting shorter? The National Park Service says yes, but at the tiny rate of 1 inch every 10,000 years. But even at that tiny rate, it's kind of remarkable. Mount Rushmore is a mountain made of rock, and rock is a solid, a state of matter characterized by the resistance to change shape or volume. So what's making the iconic mountain shorter? It turns out that Mount Rushmore is in a constant battle with nature. Nature throws many obstacles in the way, but the two primary ones are physical and chemical changes in the form of weathering. Physical and chemical changes are both an alteration in matter, a term to describe anything that takes up space and has mass, but the difference between the two is quite stark. A physical change is a change in matter from one form to another that doesn't change the chemical makeup of that substance. An example of it is crumpling and folding paper. After the crumples and folds have been made, the paper still remains paper, just in a different shape and or size. A chemical change, on the other hand, is a change in matter that does change the chemical makeup of a substance, and it gives it new physical properties, properties that are easily measurable, and new chemical properties, properties observed in a chemical reaction. An example of a chemical change is burning something. You take oxygen and feel, the reactants of a fire, add heat, and out comes your products, ash and smoke, two compounds that are very different from what you started with. But how do these differences help us figure out how long Mount Rushmore will be here? As previously stated, nature is physically and chemically changing Mount Rushmore as we speak, through a process called weathering. Weathering is the breaking down of matter, and erosion, commonly misunderstood as the same thing, is actually the transportation of the weathered matter. Mount Rushmore resides in South Dakota, which has average wind speeds of about 20 miles per hour, and with that much wind blowing around, grains of rock and sometimes sand are picked up and blast the mountain, smoothing it out in some places and chipping it in other places. This is a physical change, as the chip stone is still stone, just in a different shape or size, but other types of weathering that affect Mount Rushmore are chemical changes. A common chemical change observed is oxidation. The most common type of oxidation is between iron and oxygen, forming what we know as rust. The same thing happens to granite when the atoms, the smallest components of an element that contain the same chemical makeup as the element, have altered oxidation states. In return, this chemical change weakens granite, making it easier and more likely to chip away or crumble. As liquids, a state of matter that has a fixed volume but not a fixed shape seep into cracks in Mount Rushmore, they oftentimes stay there overnight. The liquid freezes and expands, pushing the rock apart in a physical change, because the granite is still granite even though its shape has changed. Carbonation also affects some rocks that contain calcium carbonate, such as limestone and chalk. When it rains, the water combines with carbon dioxide in the air, creating a weak acid similar to the one in your favorite soft drink. In return, the acids eat through the rock. This is a chemical change, because the rock is being changed into calcium bicarbonate after the chemical reaction occurs. A chemical reaction is a reaction in which one or more substances changes and produces one or more new substances. But if that seems like all nature has to offer, think again, because nature has a few more punches to throw at Mount Rushmore. As temperatures fluctuate from day to night, stone, like all matter, expands and contracts. This constant change of size weakens rock but it is once again only a physical change, since the rock is still rock after this change. The last major way that nature packs a punch is through biological weathering, a type of chemical change in which plants release chelating compounds, also known as organic acids. These weak acids break down the rock and create a new mineral or ore, based on the rock that was broken down. So with all of these physical and chemical changes packing a punch, it's no surprise that Mount Rushmore is slowly shrinking. But how long can we expect Mount Rushmore to be here? Every presidential face on Mount Rushmore is about 60 feet tall, or 720 inches. So with the National Park's estimate in place, we can safely say that the carvings will be unrecognizable in 7,200,200 years. So sure, Mount Rushmore will be here for you and me to enjoy for the rest of our lives, but eventually it will become solely a piece from our memory. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to see some other content by Science Saturdays, be sure to click on the pictures below. Science Saturdays, bringing free education to the modern world.